So today I will present one of the my research program that have a start in 20, in 2020. That is how we can use data, this data that that is related to the digital technologies that we are using in project management in order to try to give more insight to the project, but also to try to analyze new areas that we have not analyzed before because we didn't have the data. So if we move to the next slide, I just want to place that right now we are in a digital transformation and a lot of organizations are trying to implement new technologies because they are trying to develop new capabilities. And these capabilities are accessibility, connectivity. So we want to have access to the information and data that we have right now in the organization. We will, at the same time, we want to digitalize and automatize some of the processes. And that is also for temporary organization as a project. And then we are for implementing these four capabilities, we are implementing several types of technologies. It could be internet of objects, it could be internet, mobile technologies, and also big data. That is a way that we are implementing in order to be able to collect different sources of data. And in function of different models of each organization, they're going to develop different types of solutions. In this research, I know focus on the digital and how we are using the digital technologies. Indeed, I try to focus on, on datafication. What is datafication is how we can give a value of all this capacity of collecting data. Sometimes we are collecting traditional data that we have already have in a project, but sometimes we are going to have new sources of data. If we move to the next slide, I will present some example of data that we can have in a mega project, but also in a public project. So we're going to have traditional data that comes from the project owner, but also the project contractor that are all the project files. So we're going to have data about the planning, data about how we are controlling the project, about some decisions. But also with this digital transformation, we can introduce the internet of objects that is having sensors in order to supervise, in order to try to master what is happening in the project and get, and, and get this data in order to make better decisions. So project files and internet of objects to the uh, right side of the slide, there are data that are related to the project owner and the different organizations that are working in this temporary organization. But if we look to the public data, we also have data about the projects that are related to the social media, the, the citizens that are talking about the projects. We have also data in the traditional media, the new newspaper, TV, radio, they are also giving data about the, about the project. Sometimes there are uh, accurate data, sometimes there are fa uh, fake data, but also us as researchers, we are collecting data about the projects. And that could be interesting to try to develop these big data capabilities in order to be able to consolidate the data, in order to look for new ways to understand some projects. So if we move to the next slide, I will present some ideas about the mega projects. And the idea here is trying to also to contribute to better understand why projects have a poor performance. And for that, we had a lot of research uh, uh, that have demonstrated that we had cost overruns, benefits, shortfalls, and we are not creating value in function of the Nuno presentation. And there are some research that have also tried to identify what are the reasons. And here, if we think about such data that comes from social media, we can maybe bring some ideas about the reason of decision-making behavior, that is a reason of poor performance, but also about the stakeholders' engagement and management. If we move to the, thank you, to the animation, we can see for stakeholders' engagement and management, sometimes when we're talking about the society, about the users, about the community that's going to be impacted by the project, sometimes it's very difficult for the project manager, for also for us as researchers, to have information about them because they are a very big group of people. They are totally diverse. They have different expectations. They have different places of legitimacy. And for using current and traditional uh, research methods, we are going to be able to collect all the data. However, I propose to use social media as a new way in order to be able to collect new data that, about them and trying to use that, this data, in order to understand the dynamics of these stakeholders in the project. 
So if we move to the next slide, and we present some of the uh, elements that we are working on, on using social media. So uh, it, 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 opinions that we are sharing in Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other uh, technologies, we can be able to analyze this data and try to bring answers to, uh, to three important questions. So first one, who is using the social media in order to be able to communicate their opinion uh, about a specific project. We want also to know about what, what are our opinion. Uh, they have uh, elements that are uh, related to the project, uh, that is aligned with the project, or there are elements that try to, uh, to change the way we are managing the project, or what is the project, and what is the creation of the project. So that is about what, but also the most important is also to understand how. How some people with their opinion on social media can change the view of other people that also are related to the project. And for doing that, we are using different uh, theories. So for the who, we are using the stakeholders theory. For, for uh, trying to answer the question about what, we are trying to use the paradox theory because we want to try to identify points of contradictions, elements of, of collaboration. And to answer the question how, we are using also the collective action theory because we want to understand how people develop a collective identity. They develop an interest or group and how they can use their opinion and different ways to communicate in order to develop a social capital. Another contribution that we want to do with this research is that uh, we have a, what we call the project narrative. And that is a research that was, was uh, executed by uh, Graham Winch that tried to explain that sometimes what we are uh, or opinion about that project can change the way we are managing the project and also the, the final deliverable. Indeed, understanding how people are using social media in order to change the way we are managing the project can also give a contribution to the narrative of projects. So we are working on that. We are using some projects in Quebec uh, that have a, an important uh, exposition and there are many people that are talking about them. However, if we move to the last slide, and this is my last slide, I will conclude with that, is that sometimes using social media is going to be difficult. Because there are some difficulties, because sometimes we are thinking that we are having more uh, access to more stakeholders. But what we need to consider is that there are some important stakeholders that they are not using the social media. So that is uh, one of the limits. Another limit is that we have in projects that have a visibility, but visibility in social media. But what happened with the project that are not in the social media? We cannot be able to also to try to understand the dynamics. And the last two concerns, I know that my time is over, is the ethical part. And finally, is also technical competencies, because in order to be able to collect this data, we need to have more um, multidisciplinary team in order to be able to develop the, the infrastructure and also be able to analyze the data. So thank you so much for your time. And if you have questions, please communicate with me.